Iran nuclear deal, despite the sanctions, we have little doubt that Iran's leadership is still strategically committed to achieving deliverable nuclear weapons. The United States and Israel are strategically committed to making sure that doesn't happen. Uh, and right on your border, we have the problem of the conflict in Syria. We're going to be discussing uh, the President's decision to withdraw, but to do so uh, from northeast Syria in a way that makes sure that uh, ISIS uh, is defeated and is not able to uh, uh, re revive itself uh, and become a threat again, uh, and to make sure that the uh, defense of Israel and our other friends in the region uh, is absolutely assured, uh, and to take care of those who have fought with us against ISIS and other terrorist groups. You know, it's for the United States, um, a sovereign nation's ability to defend itself is the ultimate mark of sovereignty. And President Trump has said repeatedly that he backs Israel's right to self-defense. Uh, he says it proudly and unequivocally. And I would just say to any nation, whether in this region or not in this region, that has any doubt about America's support for Israel's self-defense, they better think about it again. So, Prime Minister, I'm uh, really grateful for you and all of your team's uh, uh, time today and the discussions we've had. They've been very wide-ranging. Uh, I think helped strengthen the relationship that you and President Trump have and our two nations have. And it's just a delight to be here again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.